What determines how many users can benefit from a boosted signal off one signal booster is an important question. The fact is, capacity is a critical part of properly specking a job, and being educated as to what factors affect capacity will greatly improve your success and customer satisfaction. Other companies will limit the signal booster user capacity factors to the type of booster and outside signal strength in one sentence, then turn around and say that it is solely determined by the capacity of the cell tower and not the booster itself. Confused? Well, we were too. So in this video, we wanted to break down what are factors with booster user capacity and help clarify the confusion. The first factor that affects the booster's overall simultaneous user capacity is the cell tower itself. If the cell tower only has a capacity of 30 users, you can have the biggest, baddest booster out there, but the simultaneous user count would still be 30. However, the facts remain that cell towers with multiple nodes can handle as many as 1200 simultaneous voice calls and can stream as much as one gigabyte of data per second. The better the signal strength, the faster the phone transmissions can happen. Better outside signal always allows more users to enjoy the benefits of the signal booster. If you think of the signal booster as a highway with lanes going two ways, the outside signal strength is like the speed limit on that highway. If the signal strength is the speed allowed on the highway, the signal booster is the number of lanes on the highway as well as the smoothness of the road. Simply put, if you get on a three lane highway during rush hour, even though the speed limit is 65, you're not going 65. However, if you can change that lane count from three lanes to five, now you can get up to that speed limit. In some smaller applications like residential, vehicles, or small offices, having a large number of users simultaneously connected may not be necessary. But for larger commercial applications, you want a booster that has the internal components necessary to provide as many lanes for traffic as possible. For example, the SureCall Force 5 2.0 cell phone signal booster is designed from an engineering standpoint for maximum user capacity in commercial applications. It does this by using special ceramic filters and components not found in other boosters which claim to be on the same level or better. So what happens if your booster reaches its user capacity? Do people get kicked off? No. Just like rush hour traffic slows everything down, data rates will slow and a few calls may get dropped because it's taking too long for the transmission from the phone to get to the outside tower. If you're thinking about using a booster for your home or small office where you don't expect a huge number of users, signal boosters like the Fusion for Home or Flare are great for small to mid-sized homes. Or the Fusion 5S or Fusion 5X are perfect for larger residences. If you are boosting for a large number of users, you'll want to upgrade to the Force 5 2.0 to ensure that all users have their calls go through as needed. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment below. As always, thanks for using SureCall to raise your bars.